Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from BP for You. And today I am in the library module of Lightroom 4. So if I come over here, I can I have some options that I can do in the library module of Lightroom 4. And so obviously we have already imported some photos. So I can come over here and I can um, add a preset to one of my photos. You can see here that that change has now been made. I can auto tone. I can change my white balance. Um, I can bump or decrease my exposure and my clarity and my vibrance. And then I can reset all of those if I wanted to. And so here you can see um, the wider angle of that. And I can also compare photos to other photos using this split screen button. And I can look at them in full screen. And then I can look at them in my grid view. So I have some different options here of ways that I can view my pictures as well. I can view them with their metadata, which these pictures here don't have a lot attached to them. I can view them by their attributes. So what that means is I can look for um, photos that have a certain star rating, um, that are flagged, that I give assigned a color to, um, and by text. I don't have any attributes assigned to any of my photos currently. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So right here I can see that you have these five dotted lines under my picture. I can click on those and I can decide which line that I want to click on to give it, or which dot to give it some stars. So I can give this one four stars, two stars, three stars, and you can decide how you want your star rating to go. It could look a little something like um, a photo with one star doesn't need much editing, whereas a photo that has five stars needs a lot, or it could look something like five star photos are your favorite, whereas one star photos are not, and so on. And so you can just assign photos um, star ratings based on the criteria that you have set for them. And you can see as we do that, we can come back over here to this attribute panel then, and we can look for um, photos with different star ratings. And we can decide how we want that to look. So let's come back over here to this none. And let's look at this one in a full screen mode. We can flag this as a pick, or we can set this as a rejected photo. So this is pretty cute, so we can give it a pick. If we scroll down here, we can also assign this a keyword. And so maybe we can make this child. And then we can click here to add that keyword. And we have our keyword list now with this check mark next to it. And we have one photo now that has this keyword of child. Here we have our metadata, and we can look up some information from that here. You can give this um, a copyright, and you can fill in some information there, as well as give this a location of where you took the picture. You can see the date and the time that the, the photo was um, taken. And so you have a little bit of information then about your picture. So again, we can come back into our thumbnail view. So we can see here that this one has had some metadata that was changed and we can decide to overwrite the settings um, to mesh it with this catalog or we could go ahead and we can just cancel that. If you were importing photos from a previous version of Lightroom catalogs, you might get one of those messages. And so you would want to go ahead then and probably update that photo to fit into your newer version of Lightroom. So here we can control the size of our thumbnails. And here we can make them smaller. Down here again, we can assign um, the filters. 
And so we can see here that we can flag some filters and we can look at the, the star ratings again. And here we can do some custom filters as well. We can search for camera information, um, exposure info, default columns, ones that don't have filters, location, rated, unrated, unused, used, and so on. And so we can turn that off and back on. Over here we have our collections. And so we have a quick collection, our previous import, which is our latest import. And then we have our compile here of all of our photographs. We have all of the locations that we have imported pictures from previously. And if they have a question mark next to them, what that means is that you have moved or deleted that photo on your computer. And so um, if you're going to move photos, um, it's usually a good idea if you use your Lightroom Collections folder and your, um, if you use your catalog, that's the word I'm looking for, if you use your catalog often here in Lightroom 4 to, or Lightroom 5 to keep your pictures organized and um, just organized, then you would want to go ahead and you could move those around here in Lightroom. For example, I can take this photo and I can drag this over to a folder and I can drop it and it's going to tell me that it's not just moving this photo in Lightroom, it's moving it on my computer. And so I can just click on move and it looks like it's already in that folder. So I would have to move that somewhere else. So we can move it, let's try moving it down here. And so we can move it into another folder like that. Down here we have these um, smart collections. And so we have photos that are colored red, that have five stars, past months, or past month, recently modified. And so it's a lot of the same filters that we had been looking at in up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we can decide to publish our photos on our hard drive, on some social media sites, um, and then we have more options that we could look for online as well. And then here's where we import and we export our pictures. We can collapse these windows um, to make more room for viewing our pictures. We can open them back up to kind of customize our workspace a little bit. Of course, we can slide these over or we can slide those back. And so being able to use the um, the library module in Lightroom can be extremely helpful in being able to keep yourself organized and um, to be able to find things quickly and efficiently. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!